What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I was browsing Seeking Alpha and I came across this article, SCHD, why it's poised to disappoint. So I'm sure most of us watching this video are big fans of SCHD. The reason why I wanna take a moment to go over this article and kind of really look at SCHD is because you don't wanna be in an echo chamber. Sometimes it's good to take a critical look at some of your favorite investments. Okay, but before taking a dive into their points, let's do a little refresher on what SCHD is. So in terms of popularity within the field of dividends, currently SCHD is third by assets under management at 34, almost $35 billion. And in terms of the construction and methodology, it's very basic, bare bones, passive, and follows the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. And if we come take a look at the holdings, these are all very large, recognizable, profitable companies. Merck & Co., IBM, Pepsi, Amgen, Pfizer, Home Depot, and the list goes on and on. And we can see that in comparison to VYM in yellow and DGRO in light green, SCHD in the dark blue has the best price performance over this time period. And it's not just the price history, the total returns of this asset are also excellent. Over the past five years, it has an annual average return of almost 13%. And in particular, I wanna draw your attention to 2022 on this graph so far, and you're gonna see just how well SCHD has been maintaining its value and handling high volatility. And if we come back to the holdings page of SCHD, I think these very recognizable, profitable names are responsible for this high level of stability. Now, in comparison to this almost 13% annual rate of return for SCHD, the S&P 500 during that same time has an annual return rate of 11.2%. And of course, it's with a higher level of volatility as well. So SCHD really is impressive. Really the only thing that's not impressive when it comes to SCHD, at least in my opinion, is the dividend, which currently is 3.8%. Having a sub 5% dividend yield really doesn't give you that much income. And if you're trying to become financially independent, build a second stream of income or retire, a 3% dividend yield really isn't going to cut it. And this 3.5-ish percent dividend yield is actually quite a bit above the recent average of the fund, which was around 2.8%. But at least the dividend growth rate is pretty high. I consistently see it in the double digits. In fact, the most recent dividend payment was the highest ever at 70 cents per share. Okay, so from the background, we can see that SCHD without question is a high quality investment that has the resume to back it up. But now let's take a look at potential reasons why SCHD, at least in the near future, might not perform quite as well as we're used to. And again, I'm not trying to rag on this ETF, but it's good to have a critical eye when evaluating some of your favorite investments. So the first point here is interest rate and inflation. And of course, this isn't just affecting SCHD, but the entire stock market. So it says, despite the sharp pullback in stocks year to date and SCHD itself, conditions are still looking fairly risky in the big picture of things. Interest rates remain quite low relative to historical levels and inflation rates remain at around four decade highs. And this is a valid point. Inflation, interest rates, they don't just affect high flying technology stocks. They do affect the companies held within SCHD, although to a lesser degree. Now, so far in 2022, stock prices have corrected a pretty meaningful amount. But in the long run, historically speaking, the PE ratio of the stock market is still above the average. And the implications here is that if the PE ratio of the entire market continues to go down, even if the companies within SCHD continue to be profitable, their valuations will still continue to sink. Now moving on to the next point here, this is geopolitical headwinds. It says the second reason to be wary of investing in SCHD right now is that most of its holdings are in large international companies which are likely to suffer from global geopolitical and macroeconomic headwinds. Furthermore, much of the world is either on the brink or already in recession. If we're kind of going through a period of deglobalization and considering SCHD is full of international companies, that could be indeed a strong geopolitical headwind. But overall, I would say SCHD doesn't have any extra risk in this field in comparison to, say, the S&P 500 stocks. And finally, the last point is the yield is too low. So last but not least, despite the recent pullback in the share price, the dividend yield for SCHD 
3.86%, is too low right now to truly serve as a source of significant income in an investor's portfolio. With US long-term interest rates at 3.5% already, investors going to SCHD for yield and assuming the economic and geopolitical risks that come with it relative to the high degree of safety associated with the US savings bonds, they may not be getting the best risk-adjusted income. And this is a valid point when it comes to SCHD and income investors. I mentioned in the beginning of the video how the yield of SCHD really isn't anything special. And in this environment of rising interest rates, it's becoming that much less competitive. I mean, just to illustrate this, if I come to my brokerage and we filter by bond ETFs, we can see the dividend yield listed right here. I mean, even the 20-year treasury bond has a current yield of 2%, which is more than half of SCHD, and there's essentially no risk associated with this investment because it's backed up by the US government. But with SCHD, the yield really isn't that much more and the price, especially in 2022, can be all over the place. So there you have it guys, that's a quick critical look at one of our favorite dividend ETFs, SCHD. Definitely let us know in the comments down below if you're still a fan of SCHD or are you kind of rethinking it considering the current economic situation. If you guys are still watching and enjoyed, I appreciate a like on the video, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.